Okay then peeps, so I have been getting a lot of questions about the new red gigabyte gaming boards. So uh, I am testing this one at the moment and I didn't get a chance to do like a proper preview or anything so I thought I'd give you a quick look of the test system and the uh, full review is going to be live next week. Now I'm just going to flick the switch on, uh, people keep asking about the case and it's uh, uh, my custom Corsair 540 which is why you can't see the power supply, it's behind. But what we can do while we're like this is obviously have a good old look around at the um, motherboard. Now I'm going to try and loosen things off a little bit so I can do it without jolting too much. If we zoom in up at the top you can see the new red heat sinks. They're all red aluminium heat sinks with that little uh, stuck on... Um, uh, like branding bit where it says the Gigabyte and the G1 Gaming, that's like a separate plate that's been put over the top. Uh, the memory in there is just Corsair Vengeance Pro, but obviously we're here to kind of um, take more notice of the <coughs> of the Gigabyte. If I lift up the hoses, you can see the M2 slot underneath, and luckily there is a PCI Express 1 at the top, which means that the graphics card sits one slot down, and that means if you did want to buy the Noctua NHD 15, not the 14, it will fit on this. Uh, well, depending on your memory and stuff. Uh, you can also see in that slot the, uh, the little line just underneath the hoses. And that goes all the way down. And that's part of the, um, uh, the Gigabyte Amp Up feature. If I go down a little bit, you'll be able to see it better. And I'll, uh, I'll zoom you in as well. So there you go, you can see the Japanese capacitors and the amp up. It is a Realtek chip underneath, uh, but it does come with uh, XFi uh, software. If we move along a little bit this way, you can see the what I'll call the chipset heat sinks. You don't really have a north bridge and a south bridge anymore, but it is in the south bridge spot. Uh, and you can see the uh, the eye now that eye is a gigabyte gaming eye but it's normally found on their graphics cards so uh, it's confusing that way of you know just starting to find it on the uh, the rest of them oh look how green that looks on the on that uh, while we're talking about green people may be uh, slightly confused that the uh, the gaming boards aren't green and you're not the only ones it has come up a lot recently about the uh, the lack of the the, the green now because obviously if you had a, a um an nvidia graphics card and you wanted a green nvidia build everyone bought the gigabyte boards because that was the only option that you had and sadly gigabyte have decided to uh, get rid of that uh, and instead they're now using red like everybody else anyway so you get a good look at the board there uh, I really like that red stripe. It's, I'm not sure how vivid it's going to show on the camera, but in uh, to the naked eye, it's actually quite a deep red. I don't think it's going to be orange like we used to have, but the the, the light in here is quite bright, uh, even though I've not got studio lights on. Will it? Oh, look at the focus on that. There, I knew there was a reason why I bought this camera. You can also see the light bleeding around the back of the motherboard there, if you look carefully, that's why I've zoomed you in. And yes, there is no screw in there, I only ever generally put um, uh, four or five screws in. Uh, but another reason why we've zoomed in there is you can see the killer E220, uh, and it's uh, got killer networking on it. Uh, the only other thing that we really need to kind of mention is up this side, it's easier to visualise it. Uh, that extra screw hole that you've got there would be a full size ATX board. This one is slightly narrower, but uh, the Gaming 5 is uh, going to be coming in in the UK around the £118 mark. So it's got quite an aggressive uh, price on it. Um, it does have SATA Express, it does have PCI Express 3, um, uh, a USB 3 out on the motherboard, we've got M2 on there, all the kind of normal stuff. There's uh, eight chokes around the or eight power phases, I should say, around the CPU, as we can see the eight chokes. Uh, but most important thing for making this video is for us to uh, discuss about the uh, the red. What do you think about Gigabyte deciding to sack off the red, or sorry, sack off the green in favour of red? Um, I, I'm still not 
sure whether I I'm I'm in favour of it yet, but I would I would it'd be nice to see what you uh, guys think. I understand why they probably want you know a black and red range. Uh, I just think it might be a bit of a mistake to have got rid of the green altogether. But anyway, tell me what you think. Jump onto the forums because that's where we're going to be monitoring it. Hit the link to take you to the article and you'll be able to get a forums link there. We really would like to get a nice discussion going on this on the OC 3D forums. So please drop by and let us know. Uh, anyway, that's our first look at the test rig that we're doing for the um, Gigabyte Gaming 5, G1 Gaming 5 I should say. Review will be out within the next three or four days I would have thought. I've just finished testing so I've just got a few more bits and bobs to do, the write up and then obviously we need to get the, uh, the, the video shot as well. Um, but for now at least this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out.